It is funny how the biggest demon is found in a church. For my father is one of them. He's my role model, but he can model the role. The fact that my father fathered me does not make him a father. He just looks like a father. Hedgehogs are not porcupines, lizards are not crocodiles. Do not be fooled by this outer cover of a man in a monster. He sits on a dinner table, wearing a crocodile smile on his face, as if nothing happened behind closed curtains. But I'm suffocating, I'm dying to be alive. I can smell the stains of blood in their bedroom walls. I can smell adult and violence through the skin in pause of my father, the uncracked eyes in his eyes makes him cold like a dead body. This this feels like theater to me. The dinner table is the arena stage in which my father awaits to act out his foolish deeds. My mother, she's also in character. She's wearing happy face of pretense, but I can see through her beautiful eyes that she's scared like a little monkey. Tears of pain are flowing down her face like the cataract of Victoria Falls. Uncalculated, undivided punches of my father over her face brings the worst in me. I am dying inside. I'm just a naked soul, dressed soul, dressed with heat and anger. Face your demons and problems, but father, how can I face your face if my problem is your face? My father, a monster, he has turned that flamboyant face of my mother into a punching bag, punching her every night like Muhammad Ali, victimizing George Foreman for the World Heavyweight Championship, pillowcases and bedroom chanting his name, Ali Bumaye, Ali Bumaye, when he punches her, his face, face, her face, even if she doesn't want to face his face, but her face will end up facing his face. His face is just unbearable reminder of a violent attack, and I'm just a painful legacy left behind. He doesn't raise me well like a middle finger, I'm an insult to him. Morgan, I'm not free, man, I'm enslaved into shackles of pain. I wish I could squeeze myself back to my mother's womb so that the layers which kept me home for nine months could blindfold me from these horrible scenes. When the bed of the sky goes down to rest, She's alone in vaults of darkness. She cries at night and laughs by day because that's what pretends expects of her. Whereas culture expects her to be an African woman who stink of cow dung, yet being laid into bed by men of the same mother in the name of culture. A submissive woman whose heart is made of steel. Her lips kick on miming language of pain. Her heart is jealous of her useless moving lips. For her heart has never been caught smiling by cameras of reality.